fine people. My name's Jude. I'm 84, and this is my lovely wife of 60 years, Caroline. Say hello, Caroline. Hello, dears. It's so nice to see you. Jude and I were just thinking back about our lives when we were younger. And, well, somehow we ended up in this room with all y'all looking at us. Kind of strange, but we always like meeting new friends. We sure do. See that strapping, young, incredibly handsome young man in the middle of that group? That was me, 60 years ago. Yes, sir, re Bob. Hard to believe. You whippersnappers can unfreeze. Go on about your business. Oh, sweetie, I think you're just as handsome as you were back then. Aw, my sweet Caroline. Sweet Caroline. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, my. Was it that lovely? I'm sure you could tell. Jude and I, Jude was living life only for himself. His poor choices and selfishness paid off in many ways in his early years. Hey, that's kind of harsh. I'm just having fun. As long as I don't hurt anyone, then I'm doing just fine. Living my best life with my band. Right, guys? Yeah. Party on. Do you remember, do you remember when that old dude froze us that was so weird? Stay focused, man. I was in a band made up of people that weren't living their lives for Christ. They were only worried about popularity. And parties. And friends. And becoming famous. And becoming famous. Again? We already said that one. Oh, cool. Let's think back to a typical weekend with this group of youngsters. Are you sure that's a good idea? What do we have going on this weekend? We have part, We have concerts each night. We need to talk about our show and our songs. You know the crowds love it when we boring. Let's go do something fun. I hear there's a big party over at Jenny's house. We can be there by eight. You said you were going to stop going to those types of parties. There's it, always trouble, inappropriate movies, and bad language. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe we can go to the party at Jenny's house. I already suggested that. Oh, cool. Jude, what do you think? I put some thought into this. And I think the only responsible decision is to party. Let's go. Woohoo! So, what's the plan? Wait, where did everybody go? Those were not my best days. I sure made some poor choices. But look at the fine Christian man you became once you learned God's will. I'm thankful for the changes you made in the way you led our family as Christian leaders. You're so sweet, Caroline. Sweet Caroline! Bum, bum, bum! Oh, again? you got to admit, it's catchy. Well, I continued my life partying for several years until I met a young lady who moved into my neighborhood. She would change my life and become my wife. That's a very simplified version of this story. I think it went more like this. Hey, new girl, why did you not come to the party in the neighborhood last night? You too good for us? No, it was Wednesday night, so I was at Bible study. So yeah, too good for us? Wait, that's not how I remember it at all. Rewind. Now start again. This is how I remember it. Why, good afternoon, my lady. My name's Jude. What's yours? Hello, my name's Caroline. I'm new to the neighborhood. It's a pleasure to meet you. Would you like to join me for a milkshake at the diner? Really? Seriously? This is how you remember it? Well, maybe not exactly. Let's fast forward a few months. Jude and I became friends and we started he started to come to church with me. We studied and Jude realized, started to realize something very important. Wow, Caroline. This is a lot to take in. According to scripture, I am lost. Lost, like the boy in Luke 15. I am the sinner and I need to repent. But I've done a lot of bad things. I'm not sure God will want me. Jude, Luke 15, 10 tells us that there's joy before the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Can you imagine? Your decision to follow Christ will bring such joy in heaven. 
became a Christian that day. I was baptized into the blood of Jesus for the remission of my sins. Just like Peter taught in Acts 2.38, I, be, I came out of that water as a new creature, and just like that, my life would never be the same. Not only that, but he studied with his friends too, and they became Christians too. I'm sure to share the good news of Jesus with all of those around me. Just like the song says, I was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. If Caroline hadn't shared the gospel with me, I don't know where I'd be. Thank you, my sweet Caroline. Hey, they must have forgotten. They didn't sing. Sweet Caroline, bum, bum, bum. Ah, there it is. I'm telling you, never gets old. We did keep the band going, but our bond as Christian family made us closer than ever. We'll always be grateful for the new girl in the neighborhood who was willing to share God's word. We didn't even know um, till, we didn't even know that we were lost until she shared God's word with us. And we didn't keep the band together. Did y'all mention that? We already said that!